Hi, I'm Kirsten. I'm a children's book author and self-publisher, and this is How I Self-Publish. Today, I'm going to talk about the five things that help me self-publish more quickly. Four months ago, I just had a story written down on a piece of paper. Fast forward to today, and I have a fully printed and illustrated book that is available on Amazon, on Waterstones, and my own website. Here's how I did it. Number one is research. As a self-publisher, you need to make every single decision from the paper thickness and page size, text placement, text font, to the illustrations themselves, the line thickness, the colors, everything is up to you to make the decision on. So the more you research about your target age group and the type of book that you are producing, the better. Research comes in many forms. A lot of it is about going into a bookshop or a library or your child's bedroom and looking at all the different books that they have and interact with and observe how they interact with those books. Ask them questions if they're old enough about why they like those books. Why do you like them? Why do you buy them? Why do you pick them off the shelf? That's some form of research that you need to do at first. Number two, set clear goals. It really helps to have goals around what you want to achieve and when. When I was looking at doing the Kickstarter and getting Kickstarter funding, I needed to understand how I was going to spend that money and when I, that was going to happen. Prior to the Kickstarter, I needed to understand how I was going to let people know that I'm writing a book and that um, it's going to happen on this date and everybody needs to actually take action. Having clear goals around your process, your, your publishing process, enables you to do those things in the appropriate time. It also helps to share those goals with the people you are collaborati collaborating with. So my illustrator knew when we were having a Kickstarter, uh, when I wanted to release the book, um, the reasons behind why I wanted to release the book when. Number three is get the funding. So I used Kickstarter to fund my first book. I set it to 21 days and I had to raise just short of £5,000, which I did, thankfully. A Kickstarter is a great way to get funds for your project super quickly. It does take a lot of effort, but a lot of that marketing effort that you will be doing in your Kickstarter, you'll be thankful for because you have to do it all again when your book's out. Um, I managed to get over 200 pre-orders as well. So my book wasn't hanging around, it was getting out the door as soon as I got it um, printed and delivered to me. The Kickstarter funding just helped massively because I could pay my illustrator, I could pay for all of the merchandise, and also I could pay for the printing deposit as well. It's really, really important to plan your Kickstarter properly. So I'll do some other videos about that later. Number four is feedback. Get feedback throughout your publishing journey. When you first have your story, start telling your story to everybody. Share it on social media, share it with kids you know. Go to a school and tell them the story and ask for feedback. Feedback at every stage is really important. So not just about the story, but the pictures, the size of the book, the quality of the pages, etc. That all contributes to a really, really good um, end product. And you just want to make your book the best that that book can be. Link to feedback is number five share everything. Um, it really helps to get your message out about your, the story and the book that you're writing and people want to hear about it, people want to be part of that journey as well. I don't, I think if I hadn't have shared so much about the process and about um, how everything was going, I'm not sure I would have had that many people actually be interested in the book. Yes, it's a great book, but a lot of people are interested in the story behind the book and I think it's really important. Thanks for watching, I hope you found that interesting and helpful. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, comment, like and share. I'm hoping to create much more content for you in the future so please do give me some feedback. Thanks very much!